If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. Oh, my goodness. Those of you that's locked in with the Dr. Boxing Talk Boxing channel, you already hip to this. But those of you that are new to the channel, don't even worry. We ain't going to leave you behind. Man, it has been officially finalized. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. December 7th in Phoenix, Arizona, we have the much anticipated rematch between Robisi Ramirez and Rafael Espinosa, man, El Davino. This fight is going to be fantastic because the first one was fantastic last year. It was a fight of the year candidate, you know, and it's crazy because I'm super excited for this. And in addition to that, like this fight wasn't enough, you know, we also have the rematch between Emmanuel Navarrete and Oscar Valdez. Now, I tell you, I'm much more excited for the the, the aforementioned fight than I am for the latter fight, but the latter fight is good too. The only reason why I'm, I'm a little hesitant on this was because I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Emmanuel Navarrete and Oscar Valdez, that was that ended in, in a unanimous decision, but it wasn't really close. You know, say it wasn't really close. So I don't really think that this rematch is really justified. But I'm not I'm not mad at it. I like Oscar Valdez. I like Emmanuel Navarrete. It's gonna be a fire fight again. But I thought that Emmanuel Navarrete won handily enough to where a rematch is not really justified because it wasn't too competitive. Emmanuel now, now 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 hold on. Oscar Valdez, he can't adapt. You know, he lost to Shakur, lost to Emmanuel Navarrete. So he does deserve another chance. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. And I'm and like I said, I'm, I'm excited for it. It's going to be fun, but it wasn't really competitive. But Robisi Ramirez and Daniel Rafael Espinosa. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Oh my goodness. Like I said, this was a fight of the year candidate. And then, you know, if that wasn't enough, Robesi Ramirez is coming off of a spectacular knockout for a potential knockout of the year candidate this year. Oh, you missed it? <laughs> you missed it? Well, thank me later. Oh, great uppercut! What an uppercut! Yes, sir. You see Robesi Ramirez. He hit him with a sure you can. You know what I'm saying? Look, look straight out the video game, man. I'm talking about sure you can, you can, you can. It was like a remix on that joint, man. I don't know. Like how you how did Benitez get hit by this? I have no clue. He charged it up from the ground, squatted, and hit him <laughs> with a super uppercut. Benitez is coming forward, dips down, oh. never sees the shot coming. Right on the money. That was crazy, you know. So he's gonna he's gonna carry that momentum into the fight with uh, uh El Davino, you know what I'm saying? But also El Davino, you know, he hasn't been doing too shabby either. And not to mention that, you know, um he's a six one featherweight, which is crazy, 126 pounds. So the the dynamic of this fight is great but then also when you consider during their fight of the year candidate you know it was well documented that robisi ramirez he initially thought he broke his foot but he actually dislocated his foot during the fight and still came out on top which is crazy you know what i'm saying so this fight hopefully there's no injury sustained or nothing we just have a all-out slugfest and i'm gonna be honest I'm leaning towards Rafael Espinosa. I personally believe that he's the best in the featherweight division right now. I think that uh, he has the best chance to be undisputed if, if anybody becomes undisputed. And um, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to this fight. But Robisi Ramirez is not going to go out quietly. And I would not be surprised if Ramirez takes this one right back. You know what I'm saying? And gets his title back too. So I'm looking forward to this, man. Those of you in Phoenix, Arizona, man, if I could, I would. If I could, I would go. If you were Arizona, you could make it out to there. I'm telling you, this fight is going to be great. This event's going to be great. You know, we have the rematch, which is two rematches two title fights you know what i'm saying all mexican war and it's going to be uh uh rafael el divino espinosa versus robisi ramirez and and uh emmanuel navarrete versus oscar valdez both rematches man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments go 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 um if you don't believe me man go check out the fight of the year candidate between uh, uh robisi ramirez and, and espinosa last year if you missed it man you will not regret it I, I promise you don't forget to like the video but remember most importantly with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.